The drive north from Milford to Mount Vernon is only about four and a half miles up Route 13. The population here, just under 2,500. Small, but be assured, necessary town amenities are here. Including the one and only town retailer, the Mont Vernon General Store, established in 1840. Perfectly located for us, yep, it's time for coffee. Dan Belmore is the owner, just the man to explain what's up with the spelling of the town's name. We have a lot of people that get lost and they're asked why their GPS says Virginia, and we tell them that's Mount Vernon, this is Mont Vernon. But there's a deeper reason for the confusion. While the town started out as Mont Vernon, for a while it was, in fact, named Mount Vernon. Why? The owner of the hotel, M-O-U-N-T, Vernon House, wanted the town name changed to match his hotel. So he petitioned the government to change it, and they did. And it was like that for 30 years, M-O-U-N-T, and the townspeople actually revolted against that and had it changed back to M-O-N-T. So that's that. But hold on, there's another town wrong waiting to be righted. It's all about favorite son, Daniel Adams, known as Doc. The problem is, he's unknown. Still, most everyone knows what he did. I am very involved in getting Doc Adams his recognition in the baseball world. You see, Mont Vernon resident Zoe Fimble is incredulous that Doc Adams is not in the Baseball Hall of Fame, even though this is the guy who led the way in standardizing the rules of baseball including nine players on the field, playing nine innings, plus... Base paths. Doc Adams made it to 90 feet apart instead of 42 paces. Doc Adams created the role of the shortstop, and he was the first shortstop of baseball. It's incredible what this unknown person from Mount Vernon, New Hampshire, has done for baseball. We'd love to get Doc into the Baseball Hall of Fame, he was on the ballot in 2015, and he only missed by two votes. The next vote in Cooperstown is 2020. Zoe wants everyone to rally behind Doc. We need all the support because I think this guy deserves to be there. Next stop, New Boston, just six and a half miles north up Route 13. An absolutely charming village with the south branch of the Piscataquag River running through town. That's Dodge's store right there, the Joe English Grange and Town Hall. Around the corner, Molly's Tavern. But it is this building that houses New Boston's most proud possession, the Molly Stark Cannon. New in 1743, it was French, but the British captured it. Then American General John Stark took it in the Revolution. The Brits got it back in 1812, but not for long. The U.S. nabbed it again in 1813. And then it became an American gun, and it still is to this day. But then local ownership became the problem. Dick Moody is with the Historical Society. The town of Dunbarton claimed it. The town of Gough Sound claimed it. And then at some point, the state of New Hampshire wanted it. And they'd come looking for it, and they never could find it. Why? New Boston town folk took it apart and hid the pieces. Gun barrel was hidden in the mill pond up there. It was hidden in manure piles. It was hidden in bonds under hay. It worked. New Boston still has it. But why is it named for Molly Stark? It goes back to the Battle of Bennington. Just before the battle, John Stark said to his troops, there are the Redcoats and there are the Tories. And if they are not ours, then Molly Stark sleeps a widow tonight. Not to worry, Molly Stark's husband survived. And the cannon? Comes out on the 4th of July, brought down to the fairgrounds, and it's fired three times by the New Boston Artillery Company. Love that story. Now, the folks at the Baseball Hall of Fame tell us Doc Adams will be eligible for election again later this year. In November, the Hall will announce 10 finalists whose contributions to the game of baseball came before 1950. If Doc is a finalist, then the Early Days Era Committee will decide his fate in December. If he falls short, it'll be another decade before the next Early Days vote. Good luck, Doc. Coming up, it's not Alice's Restaurant, but it's pretty close. 